we have got our third official check-in from this prep. Here we have our front side back side pose. Let me know if you have any tips for the footwork on this. I'm assuming you're going to say practice, practice, practice. But any tips, let me know. I know we're not worried about this yet, but I'm worried about it. This was another 156 weigh-in. Almost tripped right there. Now, last week when I sent you my RDL form check-in, I was thinking midfoot, I was thinking bar tight to the body, I was thinking driving my butt back as far as I could, and I was thinking arch in the back like you had mentioned in your message. This week I'm thinking toes up, weight in the heel, again obviously butt goes back as far as possible, and I'm just kind of letting my back, what feels like neutral to me, looking back at it, it looks like there is a nice little, I don't know, I don't want to say that. Maybe that's a natural curve, but I feel like sometimes I get stuck in wanting my list to look a certain way. And when they don't look a certain way, it kind of bothers me. I'm assuming you're probably a little bit like this too. Here we have a slight decline bench press. I put the elbow sleeves on not to help me lift more, but I just feel like it makes my elbows feel better. I don't know if it's a placebo or not, but I'm feeling pretty healthy. So if... If this keeps up, I think I can make some pretty big, I don't want to say big jumps, but conservative jumps on the barbell list, which would be nice. First up, I want to say I hope that you and your family are doing well and that prep is going well for you. I'm assuming that it's going pretty well. I've been watching your videos. First up, motivation. Motivation is 10 out of 10. I'm looking forward to the challenge of getting ultra lean and learning how to pose. That was the baby in the background. Macronutrients. I feel like I'm doing pretty good with macros. I think I'm in the ballpark. I think my averages are probably averaging right around where we want them to be. I've had a couple days of back-to-back -back 156 weigh-ins, so the weight is definitely trending in the right direction. I can, and I can tell I'm getting leaner. Maybe not as fast as we want, but we got one more week to hit our goals. Hunger level slash food focus is 5 out of 10. I think I've been doing a pretty good job with getting some volume in my diet to keep me full. Today is the last day of the deload, which this deload felt pretty good. I think I'm going to start really trying to appreciate deloads. Last year, I feel like last year was the year of learning how to train around stupid injuries. First, it was a knee then it was a neck and then it was an elbow and I feel like that was my first year where I had to like learn how to like retrain with injuries which was not fun but anyways it's finishing up deload I feel like this four week block went extremely well I feel like I've built momentum and I just want to get a little bit better and obviously stay as healthy as possible daily steps were between probably eight and nine thousand every day no new aches and pains which like I said, after learning kind of how to train with injuries last year, I feel like this first four weeks couldn't have gone any better. And stress level, five out of 10.